Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst, Adam Carlberg. Today we're going to be having a look at one of our favorites, which is the Japanese yen. So the yen in recent times has really been getting smashed by most other currencies and specifically the US dollar. And this has largely been due to the Bank of, uh, the Bank of Japan's um, decision to remain fairly dovish in a wave of global inflation. And this is can be compared to the Federal Reserve in the US that has decided to take the opposite end of the spectrum and be quite hawkish in its monetary policy. And we've been seeing um, quite high interest rate hikes from the, the Federal Reserve. Last week, we received the unemployment figures from the US and the non-farm payroll. And the unemployment figures increased at a level that was not as high as which was expected. And this may lead to the Fed, therefore, coming up with extra higher or higher interest rate hikes to combat these kind of growth or lack of slowing in unemployment. So as we move over to the charts, as stated previously, the US dollar Japanese yen has been in a massive upswing really since um, the end of last year. And we've broken through multi-decade highs, but so far we haven't been able to break through this 145 level, long, looking long term. So as we can see, um, the next kind of obvious level of resistance um, is at 147, sorry, rather 160. And then after that, that next level would be one, 175, 177. Now, just having a look at the RSI, we can see that we're really oversold here, or rather overbought. However, we are looking at a potential consolidation breakout from this move here. As we move over to the daily chart, bear in mind we are keeping these targets in. We just want to um, remember that we have our long term targets at 147, or rather, one. 160 and 175 to 177. So just let's keep that in mind as we look towards our daily chart. So looking at the daily chart, again, we can see we've really been consolidating around this 145 level. We did have a breakout not too long ago um, it, towards the end of um, September, but um, obviously we sold down and then we've been consolidating since. We can see that the volume has been trending downwards. And similar to before, our RSI, after being overbought, um, consolidated back down um, and has finally found some support at about 55 to 60. Now, what's interesting here is that although the RSI has been coming down, the price hasn't really moved that much, which means this is a really strong period of consolidation. So the next thing we are looking for is a potential breakout towards 147. Um, that's our first kind of move. And as we zoom out a little bit, um, just bear with me guys. And then potentially a move to 160. So we are just waiting for that next kind of leg up, potentially a breakout and then a consolidation, then a move to 160. But what we, you know, as I've stated previously, we're in this really long-term upward push. And we are just waiting for this period of consolidation to break out here. So that's really our first entry trigger is this strong breakout, hopefully on some pretty high volume. And again, potentially a nice upward move on the RSI back to the 70 level. But there you go, guys. One to keep an eye on is the US dollar Japanese yen. Um, it's been a great um, long position for a lot of traders so far, whether it be scalpers, swing traders, or long term traders. Um, and we are ready, maybe we are potentially looking for that next move up to 160. So with more economic data to come out in the US towards the end of the week, we may see another push back up. But just watch watching this one closely, guys. And there you go. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.